Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a um, problem that has to do with angles, uh, cut, uh, well, angles that are created by actually two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Okay, so we have two parallel lines and they're cut by a transversal, right? So this is something I'm taking from CPM course three, and this is section 9.1.1 and uh, number 9-8. So it says, use the conjectures and definitions in this lesson to solve parts A and B. <clears throat> so A. Oh, and it says each part is a separate problem. So A <clears throat> has us use this diagram, and it tells us that the measure of angle 1 is 63 degrees. Since we're doing that, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i use this diagram for A, and then I'm going to redraw it for B. So Here's the diagram. So I'm going to, I notice it says the measure of angle one, M angle one means the measure of angle one is 63. So here's angle one. It is 63 degrees. So it wants us to find angle two and angle three. So what do I know? <clears throat> I know based on what a couple of the conjectures that we have, that if we have a, if we have two parallel lines, right? We know that those lines there are parallel. And then we know that line here, that line is a transversal. So when you have a transversal that cuts two parallel lines, you have some relationships. We know that the, and we call these alternate interior angles. Okay, so angle one and angle two are alternate, okay, alternate interior angles. And alternate because it's on either side of the transversal and interior because they are on the inside of the parallel lines, right? So the inside of the parallel lines. So alternate interior angles, and since that's true, they are equal. So that means alternate interior angles are equal. So angle two, so therefore, angle two is equal to, or I should say the measure of angle two. So therefore is this little, these little three dots is another way of saying therefore. Therefore, measure of angle two is equal to 63 degrees also, right? <clears throat> and then I look at angle three, and I have a couple things I can see. With angle three, I can see that angle two plus angle three, the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three equals 180, right? Because this is a straight angle. That's a straight angle. It's a straight line. So all of that's 180. So if that's the case, then therefore we would say that the measure of angle three is equal to 180 minus 63, which is 100 and... 17 degrees. So measure of angle three is equal to 117. So there's angle three and here's angle two. Those are the ones that they wanted us to figure out for A. We could also talk about angle three in, in relationship to angle one. So these two have a name. Their, their name is the um, same side interior angles, right? So interior angles and their same side. And we have a conjecture that says same side interior angles also add up to 180. So we could have, we could also use the information of angle one plus angle three is 180. All right. So that's 117. Okay. So now let's move on to B. B says it's a whole different problem. So uh, I'm going to do a quick sketch of my original two eight so i had my two parallel lines and the transversal and now it says that angle one right angle one was this one here down here angle one is 74 degrees okay so angle one is 74 degrees that's a 74 I'm writing small 74 degrees so it wants to it wants us to figure out uh, what X is, because it gives us this information, it says that angle four, which is down here, angle four, the measure of angle four is 3X minus 18. 
So write an equation to solve for x. So if we know that angle 1 is 74, then angle 4 is also 74, right? Because angle, angle 1, I'll write it this way, angle 1 and angle 4 are uh, corresponding angles. That's the term that we have for those. And corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal, right? Because they're on the same side of the transversal and then on the same side of each of the parallel lines. So those are corresponding angles and they're equal. So that being said, if, if angle 1 is 74, then the measure of angle 4 is also 70, oops, 74 degrees, correct? And they also give me an expression to represent angle 4. So here's my equation. 3x minus 18 is equal to 74, right? So that expression for 4 is 3x minus 18, but we also know angle 4 is 74. So I can write an equation, and then I just solve for x. All right, so add 18 to both sides. I get 3x is equal to, let's see, what is that, 92? And then divide both sides by 3. So what I end up with is over here, x is equal to, uh, what would that be, 30, 30 and 2 thirds is what x is. 30 and 2 thirds. Make sure I did my math right there. Okay, so that's my x, 30 and 2 thirds. Okay, all right, last one, C. Uh, now it says that M, the measure of angle M is this expression, or the measure of angle 2, I should say, is 3x minus 9, and the measure of angle 1 is x plus 25. So write an equation for x and, and then find measured. So I got to find x first. So what's true about 1 and 2? We go back to my, my drawing. Um, one is, this one's one, one is this one here and two, uh, what my original two was, um, here, right? So we know those are equal cause they are, we, we did that in the beginning angle two and angle one are alternate interior angles, which make them equal. So we can set these two equations equal. We could say, then we know that the measure of angle two is equal to the measure of angle one because they are alternate interior angles. So my equation for this problem is going to be 3x minus 9 is equal to x plus 25. And now it just solve for x. So let me see in the space I have here, if I can do that, I'm subtract x from both sides as well as add 9 to both sides, right? So subtracting x causes the x to go away from this side, but then everything over there. And then adding 9 to this side makes it go away there. So we end up with 2x is equal to 34. Divide by 2, x is going to equal to 17. So I got my x, found x. Now it wants me to find the measure of angle 2. So I put two, if I put 2, if I put 17 back into my equation for measure of angle 2, it would be 3 times 17 minus 9. So 3 times 17 is 51. 51 minus 9 is uh, 42. So the measure of angle 2 is 42 degrees. Okay. All right. There we go.